Hello there and welcome to the Cool Beans Television Show. My name is Chris Arnold. And I'm Mickey Michaels. Nice outfit. Thanks. You too. You know what, it frankly baffles me that we've worn the same outfit five times in a row now. What's wrong? I swear I just saw Creepy Joe. Creepy Joe? I literally have no idea who that is. Coming up on the show today, Raphael Attar performs live. It's the return of Big Bassy and Big Barry. A nice young man called Danny teaches us some circus skills. And some other stuff. Now, as you all know by now, we've got a new TV in the studio. It looks nice, but we had to find a decent program on it. Every time we turn it on, it seems to be dross o'clock. I mean, look at this. I'll be uh, serving kebab stuff. Boring. Powdered water. Terrible. I mean, the beauty of what we do is that it has no limitations. I mean, art should be limitless, you know? I got the trumpet out of cash converters for 100 quid. It's right hard to play, so I didn't bother. And then I just started making noise, and this lot like, seemed to enjoy it, so like, it's, it's fine, isn't it? I mean, when you're in that, that moment of pure inspiration, that's when the noise comes, you know. Mm. I was sitting idly beneath the rubber tree and I heard this sound and I thought of the sound of Om. That's the sound of nature. And I and I found this tube on the floor and I thought, let's give it a go. And you have to kind of pump it. Go through the octaves, it gets really intense if you want it to. Mm. When I'm wow. thinking about making art or noise and art together, I often find that I begin with thinking about gradations. Perceived opposites. Salt and pepper might be an example. We look at salt and pepper and we see them as opposites, like one is white or grey and the other is black. But really, they are both just condiments. Very few people possess this, you know, ability to release that inner wellspring of frustration, of, of, of anger, of lust, of pain. I do everything for you. I cook, I clean, I wash your skinny underwear. I'm fed up with it now, I'm absolutely fed up. Skinny underwear? <sighs> so kitchen sink. Um, I'm actually in the middle of an argument. What do they call it? Uh, Nats. Oh, I thought it was a swingers club. You know, we're taking music back to its adolescence and we're asking three things of it. You know, firstly, where do you come from? Secondly, you know, what is it that you want from me? And, um, and thirdly, how? Oh, left my hat. Tell me you can see Creepy Joe. No. Tell me. He's there. Tell me you can. Tell me you can see. Tell me you can. A little birdie told me that one famous person went home with another famous person at a famous party last night. Unfortunately, we have no further details on this matter. Celebrity. Gossip. 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 Celebrity. 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 Gossip. Celebrity.
I mean, you stole my job. You'll only be sat around in your pants anyway. Oh, I right, go on then. I'll check his diary. You sure you got me in this time, Barry? Oh, champion, pal, champion. No, cut me head off, all right? Oh, no, pal. And uh, don't forget to say three, two, one, action. Three, action. Hello, welcome to Big Bassy's History Walks. Oh, we got some treats in store for you today. Look at this. I think it's the start of our Adrian's Wall. Now here's a lovely example of an ancient bus stop. It's been here since 1534. I mean, beautiful. It's even got some ancient cave paintings on the wall. Look at this fridge. It's pretty old. Maybe from one of the walls. German, probably. It's probably Hitler's fridge. Hey, Bassy, you still got your van? We could have this. Stick it on eBay. Now, some local experts reckon that this bench predates man. Oh, hang on, hang on. Sorry, pal. Hello? No, I've never had an accident, pal. Oh, what a treat we've stumbled across here. Some ancient Babylonian ruins. What you can see behind me here is a glorious example of an ancient Indian elephant burial ground. Oh, oh just oh, look at the scale. Oh, oh, oh Bassy, you chump a quit. Now look at this, what a lovely example. Some classic Roman furniture, probably from, I don't know, the 12th century AB. You reckon we're all right filming here? Oh, yeah, be right. I can't go back inside yet. Leg it, I think she had a gun. Now it's time to look at who's topping the music charts this week. At number three, the Horny Brastards with Little David Blowy. Slipping 28 places to number two, it's Trapper's Delight with Thug Line. And look who it is at number one. Big just nips on his dance floor filler. Song with a dance move. Hold up, but don't stop. It's about time that we kick things off. So let's go, let's rock. We will not be on like you Jenny from the block. Ladies, walk to the dance floor. Fellas, you should all let your girls dance floor. Hands in the air, go left to right and scream. So now we're having it tight here. Take it back to 99. When the Macarena had us all in line. Move your body forward, then let's re rewind. Cause we're for a good time and not for a long time. This is our song with a dance move. This is our song with a dance move. This is our song with a dance move. This is that one with a dance move. This is our song with a dance move. This is our song with a dance move. This is our song with a dance move. This is that one with a dance move. Give up the frown because smiling suits you. Let's paint the town, put it down for the future. But enjoy the now shooting star, keep shooting. It's Saturday night and I like how you're moving. Get it together, get it with me. You don't need a penny because dancing's free. You can be whoever that you want to be and a hero so is you. Let's just talk to me. Back to 99 when the Macarena had us all in a line. Move your body forward, then let's re rewind. Because we're That's what I call a smash hit. Mickey, what are you doing? Doing as you told me, trying to boil some socks. No, no, no. I told you to wash my car, not boil some socks. Those two things don't even sound remotely similar. Hold on. It all makes sense now. It's my favourite pair of pants. Time for a break. Oh no! 
look at all this muck and dirt and stuff. But I don't want to die. Don't be stupid, Shannon. You won't die. Yet. But the way you're living is a disgrace. I mean, look at these plants. They're disgusting. But I use all of these. Well, they're obviously not working, are they, Sharon? However, never fear, for I, Eric Mansplace, am here to help with Blamo. Puffed Blamo? Yes, Blamo. It can clean anything. Look. Just look at this toilet! Pfft, blammo! Just look how it compares to the leading competitor cleaner when used on these plants. Pfft, blammo! Just look at these kitchen utensils, liquid receptacles, and ceramic eating discs. <laughs> there you go, Sharon. You no longer have to wallow in your own filth like a pig anymore. Thanks to Pfft, blammo! Thanks, Eric Mansface. Eric Mansface. Eric Mansface. Eric Mansface. Hello there, and welcome back to the Cool Beans Television Show. The show that not only loves powdered water, but blamo too. Yes, blamo, isn't it great? Ah! You all right? Not really. Okay. Let's find out what's happening in the 24-7 Berlin-based webcam rave Dash Fashion Ham. On the decks is DJ Egg and DJ Smeg, who are going back to back. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Today we're spending time with Danny from the Flying Teapot Circus Skill Society. But where is he? Oh. Hello. Tell us about Flying Teapot Circus Skill Society. Well, we're one of the oldest circus societies in the country. We've been running since 1986. We do all types of circus skills, so from juggling to Diablo, poi, staff spinning. Do you think you can teach us some skills today? Maybe? Yeah, we can try. Yeah. To start with, juggling. Well done, Chris, you're a third of the way there. OK, let's try some plate spinning. Right, this next one's really easy. It's the hula hoop. Oh, yeah, I've done this before. With the technology industry all about smaller is better, are you worried that flea circuses are going to take your jobs? Um, not really, because fleas can't actually juggle. What? Up next, Diablo. Great day, Danny. Cheers. Cheers, thanks for that. Thanks for having me. Anyone knows you're into business? Yeah, yeah, I'm into business. Welcome to the life of a Welsh folk pop star You might think you're not a fan but you probably are If you were to miss me it would be a shame The Welsh whisperer is my name So, finally going on tour today Got my bits and bobs Pretty excited Right, dream end Oh, did you kind of draw on Spockies? Bendy Gennig. Tarana. Well, hey, will you still have a bleed yet? Will you still have a bleed yet? Oh, nine, nine. Hello. Hello. What? The tour's cancelled. The whole thing. I've packed my bags. What do you mean they like EDM? What's EDM? Wait, 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 wait.
So tickets haven't been shifting for the tour. Turns out everyone's into EDM. What's EDM anyway? I don't want to be grooming dogs for the rest of my life. What am I supposed to do? How many years have I got left in me? I'm 52. I know I look good for 52. I moisturize. Hello. What do you want? Music video. How much am I going to get paid? 50 quid. You promise now? I've actually got an idea for a music video um, over on the island of Capel Din Mochland Vaul off the Welsh coast. Tidy. He Hello? Wait, what? Just bag myself a music video. Sometimes life is very much like sipping on a cup of steaming Welsh coffee. One minute you've got the glory of Snowdonia roasted beans flowing down your gullet like the rivers at the bottom of a valley and the next minute you're left with the harsh reality of ice cold dregs at the bottom of the cup. And then you remember you can always boil a kettle again. The worst whisperer there, a man who can apparently play darts. But now it's time for this week's special guest, Raphael Attar. Woo! Woo! R A P H A E L. What does that spell? That spells Raphael. That's my name. Yes, mate. Don't get it twisted, nah, bro. Raphael Attar. Hello. How are you? Quite well. Fairly well. Well. On a scale of one to sixteen. Which one's the good one? Twelve. Then about eight. Tell me about your style of music. I like to think of it as sort of punishing a narco uh, industrial mm. rap. But it's not really that, but it's just how that's how I like to think of it. I think you just made that up on the spot. I think you have got no grounds to say that and nothing no. to back it up. Please. Sorry. You better be careful, mate. Sorry. I feel like this is this is it's quite a hostile interview environment you're, no, you're setting no, up. I thought friendly. this was going to be like Richard and Judy or something. You know, we're on sofas, it'd be friendly. I feel it's like very friendly. coming in quite hard. Gary Barlow is a very nice man. He did a concert for Princess Diana. He did a concert for children in need. When he does a concert, it's always guaranteed. It's a rocker. You had a big hit with Gary Barlow. Relatively. Relative to the other smaller hits. Mm. Okay. How do you feel about Chris Moyles not being a fan of your one of your songs? Very, very good. Yeah, oh yeah. Very, very positive about that. That was probably the best news to come out of the whole affair was to find out we had mildly aggrieved Chris Miles. You're both looking very sharp. Do you hire a stylist or do you hire yourselves as stylists? Uh, to be honest, we were just dressing like this and then it became stylish. Now I heard on the grapevine that you love free jazz. I have an emotional relationship with free jazz, which, yeah. you know, is sometimes it's love and sometimes it's hatred and sometimes it's sort of uncontrollable sexual desire. Mm. It's tempestuous. Can you give us a quick free jazz rendition? How do you feel about that? Or would you rather not? I can give you a few lines from our, our free jazz song. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go on then, yeah, sure. Um... So you're going to do a song for us today, what's that all about? It's quite, you know, heavy, intense, and it's just a kind of, it's a, it's a real life story, you know, the experiences of a, of a young rapper out there in the wilds. At my brethren's yard. My brethren asked, What you want to do today, bruv? I said, I ain't got a clue. He said, I'm bored. I said, I'm bored too. Didn't have much to do. I said, Yo, let's go to the zoo. He was like, Yeah. I said, Come there, blood, get prepared. So we packed our ish. His mum said she would give us a lift. Jumped in the car, got there quick because the zoo weren't far. So it was like 25 bar. I was like, Raw. But you know, man, smart. Went online to check for our bars. In a coupon, two for one with an online coupon. Yeah. So we got to go in, look at all the animals and ting. It was pretty exciting. Walked in, we was already hyping. Zoo, went to the zoo. Last week I went to the zoo. Me and my man went to the zoo. Went to the zoo, to the zoo. Went to the zoo. The other day I went to the zoo. Me and my man went to the zoo. Went to the zoo, to the zoo. Went to the zoo. It was a beautiful day for it too. No clouds in the sky, just blue. And the bear there looked like balloon. 
and a tiger look like sheer corn and the elephant look like Baba the elephant and the kangaroo had weird arms and we got to see the keepers feed the pelicans Those kind of man, they throw the fish into the air then grab the fish one time with the beak then they swallow it whole, that's how they eat and the snake's all deep, the man there ain't got no feet they just wiggle about, some of them are spitting mad shit from the mouth some of them ain't, you can pick them up and pet them if you want to I didn't do that, I wasn't scared though, no, I just didn't want to I was on the next tip, so we went and checked out the penguins The penguins cool, they're just chilling in the swimming pool Zoo, went to the zoo, last week I went to the zoo With my brethren, went to the zoo Went to the zoo, to the zoo, went to the zoo The other day I went to the zoo, me and my man went to the zoo Went to the zoo, to the zoo What's your favourite animal? My favourite animal is lion But the lion it was close to renovation So we went and checked out the meerkats these is two jokes, them I stand up like them dudes that do jokes And a man said, oh, you're moving too close So me and Kyle hop back over the fence My brother's named Kyle He wanted to see the crocodile So I looked at that for a while Then I said, see you later, alligator Kyle was bending up Because I said the funny thing about the gator He said the aviary would be I said, Bridget, you're just a hater So we checked out the birds It was a bit You can't really see them too tough Just hear them go twit, twit, too Or whatever they do and we saw a kangaroo I might have already mentioned that bit But it was definitely a highlight Zoo, went to the zoo Last week I went to the zoo With my brethren went to the zoo Went to the zoo, to the zoo Went to the zoo The other day I went to the zoo Me and my man went to the zoo And then we went home Went home Got on the bus and went home Carl's mum was making tea back home Chicken casserole back home Home Went home They were shot in the zoo, we went home no gifts from the shop went home. We had a nice time. 